fuck it is, man. It's Pill Bellamy and this bitch, you heard me. Niggas mad enough. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bang with y'all. I don't even know if I'm gonna release this video. So if y'all see this video, I chose to release it. But, alright, so I got a battle coming up March 20th, right? I'm battling Cuban, and I'm battling a nigga Lambo. It's funny, right? Because I'm probably going to be the opening act in the headline. You feel me? <laughs> I'm probably going to be the first battle in the last battle. Shout out to Cuban, shout out to Lambo. But I just want to take this time to uh, break down my opponents, bro. Right? Because... Niggas don't know what they about to see, bro. Niggas don't know what they about to get. You hear me? For real, bro. I feel like I'm slept on in a major way. But I get it. A little bit. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of it is warranted, bro. Because people only go off of your past performances. You feel me? And my biggest problem in battle rap thus far has been inconsistency. I do good one battle, and then the next battle I'll be mediocre. I do good another battle, and then the next battle I'll be mediocre. Or this battle, my cadence and my delivery might be right, but the next battle I might slow that shit down too much. You feel me? Like prime example, my fresh battle. People saying that's my best performance to date. You feel me? I feel like the bars were there, the cadence was there, the conviction was there, the delivery was there. Um. The performance was there. I do feel like I could have performed a little bit better. Um, I feel like I could. I, I, I look back on all my battles in retrospect, and I just feel like I could. I could show more personality. I show. I show myself in these blogs, and you know what I mean. I just be myself on video. That's who I am in real life. I, I, I really talk fast, right? I really cut myself off in the middle of speech in real life. You get what I'm saying, like. I'm a deep person in real life. I got a different perspective. Like, all this shit I do in real life, but I really don't display it in battles. And, like, that's been, like, you know what I mean? That's my, my been my two biggest critiques. Inconsistency and in not showing who I am. I do it in blogs, but not in battle. Like, in the actual real life battle. So, so like I said, to go back to the original point, so I feel like this warranted, you know, people sleeping on me and all that. But, bro. These battles are gonna are gonna marry each other, you feel me? Like, and man, this shit gonna get dark, bro. You feel me? This shit is about to really get dark, bro. I'm about to fuck these niggas up, bro. For real, I'm about to really fuck these niggas up, bro. Cause neither one of these niggas rap. Let's start with Lambo. Lambo, you know I fuck with you, bro. But you can never do what I do, bro. Ever. Ever, never, like, you can never rap on the level I, I listen, bro, I rap better than a lot of you niggas, bro, for real, bro, for real, and really what I got in mind, I'm really talking about as far as content, the content is concerned, like, the material you and the ideas and the shit that be said, you feel me, I gotta tighten my delivery up, and I, I promise you, bro, I just can't wait till the 20th come, so I can display that, bro, I feel like I'm about to set the bar for myself. You feel me? I feel like I'm really about to set the bar. I'm going to wrap circles around Lambo, bro. Like, I'm going to really wrap circles around this nigga. He cannot out-rap me. He will not outperform me. You feel me? His material will not be better than mine. The only chance this nigga got is being funny. He can possibly be funnier than me. That like that, and, But that's not going to win him the battle. Because he's going to have to do something else. And he's not going to be able to rap better than me. It's like... I like Lambo. He can punch. I, I, nigga, I'm, I was advocating for the nigga. I, when niggas was sleeping on him and talking shit, making fun of him, I said, y'all sleeping on that nigga punching ability. You feel me? So, but I know for a fact this nigga do not rap bad. We don't have the same mind, bro. I'm smarter than you niggas, bro. For real, bro. I'm really smarter than you niggas in real life, bro. You hear me? Cuban. Cuban, I like Cuban. Cuban has been improving year by year, battle by battle. You get what I'm saying? I feel like he has an inconsistency issue too. Because he'll do good one battle, and then another battle he'll be mediocre. And then this battle he'll, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, Cuban, so we got kind of got something in common because he got some inc inconsistency issues too. You feel me? But I feel like Cuban has a better chance keeping up with me. The only thing that might hinder him is... Uh, uh, you know this, this, uh, this, this. You know how these people of higher, be on higher tiers, be bro. Like they, they think that they need, they don't need much. Like they, they look at it like this, right? I could be wrong. 
But this is how I look at it. This is my perspective of how I think they look at it. They look at it like when it comes to battling a nigga like me. It's like, I don't need much to beat him. You feel me? I don't mean... If he went off of my past material, it's decent, but he'll probably think he don't need much to beat me. So he's he's going to underwrite. You get what I'm saying? And, and, and even if he want to overwrite, he don't want to waste his best material on me. I tell y'all, I should be going in the brain because even on a lower scale, we do this. You feel me? You don't want to waste your best ball. You could, be, you could have some hella shit. You know, as battle rappers, I know I'm not the only one that might think of a punchline and note it or write it down. You get what I'm saying? Some people make their punchlines first and then build their bars and all their four bar setups off of the punchline. You get what I'm saying? And you got the people who just uh, write write their battle raps like they're writing a song. You know, start from the top and just write it like it's a run on sentence. And you get what I'm saying? And sit there and give themselves time to think. Or you, you feel me? Or some people come up with the idea first or the angle first and build on like that. You feel me? So he might be like, you know, I don't want to waste my best material on this nigga. You feel me? Or he might think like, or or he might try to uh, uh, milk the situation. Five minutes. I'm going to just, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to try to write exactly five minutes. You feel me? Or I might write under hoping that I'll get crowd reaction and crowd reaction extended. Like niggas be having all kinds of shit in their mind that they that they think that stops them from being their best and being at their best post. You get what I'm saying? Because it's not their dream matchup. So they're not fully motivated to Give it their all. And I'm saying all that to say he has Cuban has the best chance to make this debatable or win is a one round battle. You feel I'm realistic. But what I just the, the shit that I just previously just mentioned and broke down, that might be the shit that hinder him, bro. Cause niggas gotta learn how to treat every battle like it's their last battle. Treat every battle like you fucking about the battle loaded looks, bro. Because People are going to see it. You feel me? Oh, and another thing niggas be thinking like, okay, if I lose, I just won't share the battle. Or I'll just make excuses like, you know, I didn't take it serious. Well, I had, you know, this was in weeks time or like niggas be already having shit pre-planned in their head. So like, I hope both of these niggas come with it. I think Lambo is taking this battle more serious than Cuban. And I feel like Lambo might have better material than Cuban. Now, the Cuban battle is bigger for me. So, respectfully, my best material is probably going to be with Cuban. But it'd be tricky because you never know. And you could be thinking, like, this shit is tricky when it comes to battle rap and, and, and reactions. and Because sometimes you get reactions for the bars that you didn't think people were going to react to. And then the shit you want people to react to, you think they're going to react to, they don't react to. Sometimes it's tricky, bro, because this shit is subjective. You feel me? But, bro, I'm coming to catch a fucking body, bro. For real, bro. For real, bro. I, anger, bro. Anger. Anger, bro. Like, you understand? It's I got shit going on in my real life, bro. For real. And I, me and Cardi was talking about this one day, and I'm going to close with this. I'm not the... I'm the nigga... Because some niggas, and Cardi said he one of those niggas. Cardi is one of those niggas, like... He got to have a clear mind in order to be able to do good and rap good. If he's mad, he's not going to be able to do it. And when I'm mad, I rap better, bro. Like, I just say my shit with more conviction. I, it just, every, the performance, I just do, like, I'm I'm really mad, bro. I, and not even about battle rap, about real life, bro. My real life got me mad, bro. And this shit ain't nothing but uh, release therapy, bro. Rap has always been release therapy. You feel me? Battle rap is release therapy for me. I'm mad, bro. Like, seriously, bro. And I just want to rap, bro. And I just want to fuck somebody up, bro. For real. I just want to fuck somebody up, bro. I just want to fuck somebody up, bro. You feel me? In life, you get tired of being a nice guy, bro. For real. It's sad because... It's sad because you would think being a nice guy and being respectful would get you a long way. But it's like, it's crazy because the more nice you are... The more people take advantage of you, the more people don't appreciate you, the more people try you, bro. When it should be the opposite way around, the more nice you are, people should fucking respect you and appreciate you. The more fucked up you are, the more people should not like you. But it's the opposite way around. The more fucked up you are, the more respect you get. You feel me? The people tend to, you know what I mean, fall in line. But the more nice you get, people take advantage of you. We live in a backwards fucking world, bro. Niggas is going to die. Big L's in this bitch if you're mad enough.